Hey guys, this is Action DJ from Action Studio, and today we are going to be talking about projection mapping and a specific topic, which is how do you export multiple videos from Resolu Marina to another projection mapping software? And this is a question that I have been asked multiple times, uh, so I thought I'll make a video for it. And uh, it does happen that not everyone uses Resolu Marina for projection mapping. There are a bunch of other softwares people like to use and uh, so today I'm just going to be covering how you can send multiple output from Resolu Marina. Uh, we're going to be using Siphon uh, source today. Siphon allows you to internally export uh, the video from Resolu to other softwares. Uh, for demonstrating that process we are going to be using something called um, siphon recorder uh, it allows you to see the siphon uh, output um, so the first thing I would say you gotta do is you gotta go to arena preferences and within video you gotta make sure that your siph uh, siphon input and output is already checked uh, if it's not then you gotta check it because uh, that allows the input and output of siphon to work to enable okay once this is done we're gonna go to our output and advanced settings uh, like we do for everything else I'm gonna disable this particular slice uh, now something that you wanna keep in mind uh, is it's not complicated but you get the but you have to get the logic right uh, which is when you are exporting multiple videos you should try and match the resolution of your video to the resolution of your projection mapping output what that means is remember how if you have been watching these series how we changed our resolution to 1024768 in the composition setting so that it can match my projector's res uh, resolution which is 1024768 similarly uh, your projection mapping software whatever you're using you would want to do the same with that as well you would want to make sure that your output is the same as the output of your projector in this case we're going to assume it's 1024768 and we're going to build everything accordingly so what we would want to do is the three videos that we are exporting we would want to export each and every one of them in 1024N768 full resolution uh, so they're not being stretched and squeezed for that we need to create a kind of uh, a horizontal um, sort of a video a long horizontal video because we will have to multiply the 1024 into three times right now we're going to be doing it for three videos uh, but whatever the number is whatever how many as many as videos you want to send out you would need to multiply that with that number so for example if it's three for us i'm going to go 1024 multiplied uh, by three which i think is 3072 um, so the resolution would be 3072 into 768 uh, just keep that number in mind so what we're gonna do is uh, we're at our ad uh, advanced screen setup uh, we have three different videos selected right now in layer 3 2 and 1 this guy this guy and that guy um, we're gonna go to slice and I'm gonna click on one two three I'm gonna add three slices uh, I'm gonna name each of them uh, so we can keep a track of these guys so one two and three okay um, also uh, now the, I'm gonna go to input sources for each of them and I'm going to select the layer corresponding to the name that I've given of that slice so it's just easier for me to remember what is connected to what uh, so now slice three is getting video from layer three which is the top one uh, then 2 is getting it from layer 2 and then 1 is getting from layer 1 awesome I'm going to change this to this guy so I have 3 different videos and 3 slices now the next part of the process is where I come to my screen option uh, right now my screen is still displaying the output on my projector I don't want to do that anymore because I'm not using Resolume as my main uh, projection mapping output uh, so I'm gonna go and select siphon so it no longer would show up on my projector it's now not sending the output anywhere physically it's internally transporting the output 
and I will show you what that means in a second. Um, but right now, uh, if you remember the fundamentals that we spoke about, the one uh, that is uh, uh, being shown over here are all three because they're sort of blending in but what we want to do is we want to put all three of them side by side and create that horizontal wall that I was just explaining um, for that what we need to do is we need to click on the screen again and we would need to change the width of the screen so we're making a long screen right uh, and this 1024 will be that number that we earlier came upon which is 3072 to, which is our new resolution now there you go so 3072 into 768 this allows me to have enough room in fact precise room to put in three videos I just gotta make sure uh, you can obviously uh, do the math and make sure that your X and Y positions are uh, matching um, right now I'm not being 100% accurate just so you guys know uh, but again like I said you can do the math and you can make sure that your distance and everything is just right so now you see I have created this long sort of a uh, wall with the slice 1, slice 2 and slice 3 uh, and they are all in their full resolution which is 1024768 all three of them um, and that's how you should send the, uh, the multiple video out uh, and if you see if you come over here to my siphon recorder right now it has the composition of the arena uh, the whole composition and that would only display you the very first video because of the layer hierarchy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the screen that we have created now again remember we can uh, change names uh, for these things so we can we're gonna call it three video setup and using this sort of a uh, logic, this math, you can actually have six videos. You can also place them in a way where you can have three on top and then three below them or two, two. It's all up to you and how you want to set up your screen because this is your screen, right? This is, uh, this is allowing you to create as much of a resolution as you want. So for example, if you're using a, uh, an LED screen, uh, which gives you an output of 3072 into 3072 it's a square video and you want you know to set it up in such a way that you want a big screen this allows you to do that this is amazing so we come here and now we see that it's updated to three video setup I click that and boom now I have three multiple videos being exported at full resolution of my output and now I can map them and we are assuming that this is right now being used by another mapping software um, also recently someone asked me a question do I use some sort of a splitter uh, uh, as a hardware when I'm sort of uh, dividing the videos um, the answer to that is I do use a splitter but not in this process uh, and it's not really a splitter uh, I will put some links in, in the description uh, for uh, something called I think it's M A T R O X, and it's a graphic. It's a graphic card. It's an external graphic card that allows me to use one laptop and then divide uh, my output into three different projectors. So in case I have to use three projectors, I can just create that. I attach that one card, and I can use that. But the actual division that's happening and the mapping that's happening is within your software is within your projection mapping software remember that that's why we created this because this is right now being uh, I mean this is just for example but technically this is going to a projection mapping software where you are mapping these three multiple sources to whatever you want to use it with hope it makes sense um, so this was explaining how you can export multiple videos as always remember to save it close uh, don't make the mistakes that I do at times um, so you will see that it has retained itself and it's quite straightforward uh, once you get it it's quite easy and it allows you to uh, do a lot of cool things um, uh, I've actually experimented with this process a lot I use uh, I mostly use a six uh, screen output um, because sometimes I create um, projects in which I uh, use a certain kind of animation for a certain kind of thing and I always use variations of those animations so I can just dedicate one whole layer of clips to that animation that kind of that, that space 
and this allows me to sort of uh, uh, you know use it with that uh, layer so thank you so much for uh, watching and your comments and uh, everything that you guys uh, have been doing uh, it helps me make these videos and hope I am helping you in this process if in case there's anything you want to learn in specific uh, do ask I will make videos if required I will answer your questions personally in private messages or with our comments and thank you so much guys uh, check out my other projects as well uh, on the same channel just I think different section perhaps uh, thank you so much again and have a good day